Tonight, a new Channel 5 investigation uncovers new information potentially affecting the health of school children across Nashville. Information that has not been shared with parents. It reveals children are still drinking lead contaminated water when they go to school, despite the district's assurances that there's nothing to worry about. Our chief investigative reporter Phil Williams has the exclusive details. This past summer, Metro Schools tested every water fountain in the district as a result of questions raised by News Channel 5 investigates. As the school year started, officials only shared the worst results with the public, but we obtained the raw data, which shows there's a lot more to the story. Haywood Elementary in South Nashville is a neighborhood school that serves one of Nashville's immigrant communities. Here, young children work up a healthy thirst on the playground, quenching that thirst in lead contaminated water. That's according to the results obtained by News Channel 5 investigates of lead tests conducted by the school system over the summer. It bothers me now to know because the, my babies, they empty drink water every day from the water fountain. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that school water contain no more than one part per billion of lead. But at Haywood, the test revealed nine fountains were putting out water with more than 15 parts per billion, the highest 35.2. The district says it disconnected those fixtures. But the test found 17 other fountains putting out between 5.08 and 14.4 parts per billion of the toxic metal. In those cases, the school district decided to let the children Children keep drinking the water. So they have not told you that there is lead in the water here? No. no nothing? Nothing. No. Has your family been told anything about lead in the water here? No, they have not. Families say they've been left in the dark. When we come to open houses, they've never mentioned it. I would want them to, to find some other source of water. We showed the data to Nashville pediatrician Dr. William Davidson. He said there is no safe level of lead for children, and lead accumulates over time in their young bodies, potentially causing learning and behavioral problems. And it's that accumulation that then causes problems because as the lead levels go up uh, in your, you know, in the tissues and the blood, um, you're going to have potentially more and more uh, effects. And it's not just Haywood. Here at the McMurray Middle Annex, the old Tusculum Elementary in South Nashville, students are still drinking out of 11 fountains with lead levels between 5.04 and 12.1 parts per billion. And inside East Nashville's historic Hattie Cotton Elementary, 13 fountains have between 5.46 and 10.8 parts per billion of lead. It's bad for the kids. Yeah. Well, not only the kids, the teachers, they drink water from there too. A Metro school spokesperson insisted the district is just following the same standards as Metro Water, but we obtained three years of test data from the water system and it shows little or no lead detected in the water supply. In other words, the problem is here inside the school building. And that tells me you've got a problem with the pipes, with the um, infrastructure of that school that needs to be addressed. We shared the results with Nashville Representative Jason Powell, who has pushed legislation to make sure children are not being exposed to lead in their school water. There is nothing more important than the safety of our children and the health of our students in Nashville and in the state of Tennessee. And so if it's money that's going to be required to fix the issue, we need to spend the money to fix the issue. So does it bother you that they never told you? It does, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm concerned now. It does bother me because, you know, our kids are in their hands. And if children in Nashville are being exposed to unsafe amounts of lead, Powell says it's highly likely it's happening across Tennessee. Essentially, this is just uh, what could potentially be the tip of the iceberg, and we need to look at this statewide and see um, if there's lead in other school systems. Metro's public health department has urged the school system to get the lead levels as low as possible, but Metro schools insists they plan to stick with the standards they have. Phil Williams, News Channel 5 Investigates. Thank you, Phil. And tonight we are doing what Metro Schools has not done. We've posted the lead levels from every water fountain in this summer's round of tests so you can see what your child may be drinking. That's on our website, newschannel5.com. There you can also find Phil's past interviews with Metro Schools officials.